In October of 2012, Hurricane Sandy slammed into the coast of southern New Jersey. The storm's immense size and unusual trajectory combined with a half dozen climatic anomalies to produce high winds, excessive rainfall, and a catastrophic storm surge. Affected areas extended from North Carolina to Massachusetts, including Pennsylvania. New Jersey and New York were the brunt of the storm. In the end, Sandy claimed at least 55 lives and caused $68 billion in damage in the eastern Europe. Despite having several days of remarkably accurate predictions about the storm's direction and intensity, recovery activities were still hampered by communication issues and agency coordination problems. And as you know, most disasters come with very little, if any, advance warning. The lack of adequate warning time and the imprecise nature of disaster prediction are two reasons why recovery workers must be thoroughly prepared in advance. For these and other reasons, there is an obvious need to prepare local public health agency workers for a greater role in disaster recovery. To that end, the National Center for Disaster Medicine and Public Health has developed a training program for LPHA workers that focuses on individual and organizational contributions to disaster recovery. The program is called Public Health System Training in Disaster Recovery, or PH Strider for short. It uses a train-the-trainer approach, and the trainers are selected by local public health agencies. PH Strider is divided into four 90-minute face-to-face sessions in which participants discuss ways to better understand and enhance agency and worker participation during disaster recovery. The first session focuses on understanding the basic concept of what community disaster recovery involves Participants discuss the challenges and requirements of long-term recovery. Identify various types of natural and man-made disaster that are likely to occur in their area. And clarify the role of LPHAs in response to the disaster. The second session identifies worker roles in the LPHA recovery process. Participants discuss various duties that they might perform during a disaster recovery, and how those duties compare to their normal day-to-day -day job activities. Session three focuses on common personal, family, and workplace issues that can occur beyond the first 72 hours of a disaster. Participants identify these potential issues and discuss resources that are available to help workers prepare in advance. The fourth session gives the learners an opportunity to characterize what they perceive as a successful disaster recovery in their agency and community. Following the PH Strider format allows LPHA workers to actively participate in developing strategies for future disaster recovery. This ensures that recovery workers always have a high level of preparedness before disaster strikes. To learn more about the PH Strider program and how it can help disaster recovery efforts in your area, follow these links to the National Center for Disaster Medicine and Public Health website.